Hello and welcome to another video by Matthew Gaming Vids. In this video we're going to be in Battle of Galeos. And in this battleground you need to cap at least two of the three flags that are in this battleground. There's one closest to the Alliance side, one closest to the Horde side, and then one in between them. What you want to do is take the one closest to you and maybe take the Horde one or either the other one that's in between but what you want to realize is that all the horde and all the alliance are going to go straight to waterworks which is the one in the middle so if you want an easier time you may want to go to the mine or the lighthouse depending on which side you're on on my death knight i'm not that geared so if you do see me dying quite a lot that's because of my gear and probably because I haven't played my Death Knight for probably about a month or two. The gear I have is the blue crafted gear and probably two or three um, epic ones what you can get from the honor gear, honor vendor I mean. I will tell you at the beginning that there is a lot of dying in this background so please stay and watch me die quite a few times and hopefully watch me kill quite a few horde what i've seen though is some videos saying well you don't want to die in backgrounds as it gives the other team more honor but if you're gonna die anyway i do suggest you just die you get regen with full mana, full health, and some time to buffer. So just do that and then run straight back to where you were and you might be able to kill the people you were fighting a lot easier as they will still have the damage you did on them. So as you can see there, I tried to just bypass this mage by running straight up to what works. But unfortunately, this mage saw me and started to attack me. By the time I turn around and get to the mage, I'm already at about 50% HP. But that's a thing being a melee class versus any ranged class. It just takes you a little while longer to get to that player and do some damage to them. I do like um, PvP in, in Blood Spec as it's a lot more different than PvP in um, Frost or Unholy as you do get to tank quite a lot of the Horde. What I mean by this is if you are well geared you will be able to survive quite a lot in Battlegrounds and Arenas and I have seen quite a few people 2v1 a Death Knight and lose against them and in the next patch they're getting quite a big buff. I've seen more um more charges on the bone shield and also having the armor increased. So do expect in the next patch which is coming out on the twenty ninth of this month or the next week to have a lot more death knights, blood death knights in your battlegrounds and arenas. This may put up a bit of a hassle Otherwise, it should be okay. I mean, if you've got a good DPS, you you should still be able to take out a Death Knight. But then again, we don't know how much of a buff this will give Death Knights. So let's just wait until the patch comes and let's see what we can do. What you see here is that I'm going over and looking at. Um, what works to see if it's okay and how many people are there but what i see is there's too many ranged classes for me to even try to attack it and maybe take it so what i do is go back to mine we are already winning this by having two of the three bases so there's no need to just run in and die and they might need my help at mines so what i'm doing is going back there seeing if they need my help 
and if they don't just stand there and wait for her to respawn at the ship that they do. Also if you are defending make sure you stay near the flag as you can see we don't do that here and we do get lose a base or two by not doing this. So if you are arranged it don't really matter for you as you can range the horde off our capping. But if you are melee remember to fight next to the flag as much as you can so that you keep the flag as long as possible. Also it's reversed if you want to cap a flag. If the horde are foc focusing you remember try to kite them away from the flag so another player on your team can ro run over and capture it. And that's the name of this battleground to see who can get and keep as many flags as possible and to make it easier. If you do get the three cap this makes it a lot easier to win the battleground as the points just go so fast it's, ha it's nearly impossible to win from this. As a blue death knight you won't do much damage unless you are being attacked but you will still do quite a bit of damage to the clothies so if you do see a clothy that's not moving run up to them and start death striking that is your number one ability in this battleground and in any other battleground death strike heals you and puts a bubble on you depending on how much mastery you have depends on how much of the bubble you get I have about 100, 116% bubble, which means for, let's say, 100 health I gain from Death Strike, I gain 116 bubble effect. This makes it extremely reliable. And just remember, because of the last patch that came, even if we miss Death Strike, we don't use any runes. So, makes it even more possible to be nearly every single class as a Blood Death Knight. Only classes that will be able to kite us will be able to win us in a battle. So we're coming up to the win here in about 40 seconds. It's a bit blurry on my screen at the moment. But, as you can see, I'm just attacking this death knight at the flag and I tried to move away from the flag but I noticed that there's range also there so there's no point kiting them too far away as the range will be able to swap quite easily to the person capping the flag also the death knight will be able to death grip the person capping away from the flag but mine gets resisted a lot so I think that could be on either I think it's shadow effect so if you have a lot of shadow resistant you will um, be resisted a lot if you try to death grip people away coming up to the win any minute now and as you can see by this panel my resilience here is very low but thank you for watching this video please remember to like favorite comment and subscribe for more videos also, thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.